This video is of my voyage from Long Beach, California to Hong Kong on board the APL Minnesota. These pictures right here are taken in Long Beach on the day of our departure. This is the captain and that's the harbor pilot right there as we pull out of Long Beach. Due west about 25% of the way from the edge, you see a little red dot, that's the position of the ship. It's right across from Vancouver Island. This is the first storm we encountered. Something to watch for is watch the horizon. You'll see this is just a snowstorm. In other videos you're going to see here, you're going to see that horizon bouncing around considerably in relation to the front of the cargo containers there. It wasn't too cold or stormy. I'd walk around the edge of the deck. The ship's almost a thousand meters long. I think it's 994. So you could get a pretty good walk, but in storms it was way too dangerous. Uh, and you'll see I'm wearing my jacket and a toque, so it's really cool. It's actually below freezing right here. We're actually somewhere uh, off the coast of the Panhandle of Alaska at this point. Actually, you can see the ice in this picture right here, and the crew has duties that they have to perform normally. But look at all the ice, and that was just one spot. Being down to the engine room. The pistons on the engine were as big as Volkswagens. Heading into Unimac Pass, Alaska, where we enter the Bering Sea. This was actually very beautiful, and if you ever get the chance, I highly recommend checking it out. It's very close to Dutch Harbor. to watch the horizon. This is a typical day in the Bering Sea. And remember, this is a really big ship. One of the radars, the ship had probably three of them, I think, and a lot of GPSs. These are pretty interesting to watch. Actually looking for whales right here. On my last voyage I did like this, I saw four groups of them. This one it was winter so we didn't see anything. Lot of snow days in the Bering Sea. Snowy and windy, it was really dangerous outside.
my sweater. Yeah. <laughs> Days were followed by beautiful days too. And followed by more snow days. Sometimes we had fun with the snow. The officer's dining room. We are exiting the Bering Sea. Now we're approaching Yokohama, Japan, which was our first stop after Long Beach. It's Mount Fuji in the background. It's an interesting shot because you see the ships queuing up to get into the harbor. Our arrival into Yokohama was absolutely gorgeous. I think that was the first time I've ever seen Mount Fuji. Harbor pilot boat. This is a good chance to catch the scale of things. That boat is probably 150 feet long. behind us in this case to enter the harbor. That's the berth just beyond the lighthouse there where we're going to dock. Stevedores waiting to board the ship so they can unload the containers. The ship's office, this is the control panel that they use to balance the ship while loading cargo. And here
here's Lorenzo boarding the ship in Yokohama. The red dot center screen just to the right, that's our position near the Japanese islands there. It was karaoke night, and yes, I did sing, and no, it was not pretty. Routine work performed on the ship by the crew. This is a paddle I've been carving on the ship. The pictures following it are of my quarters. bow of the ship. I was looking for flying fish and I did see them but I didn't capture them on film. This is the ship's kitchen. This is dinner. Feed a billion Chinese with a lot of fishing boats. These pictures were taken on top of the bridge. It's probably 14 stories up from the surface of the water. I am being captain. I am steering, and we had to avoid all the fishing boats. One of the lifeboats. Another nice evening. Between Hong Kong Harbor, and there actually are a few junks left. We have the Hong Kong Harbor Pilots boarding. One of the Hong Kong bridges, that's Hong Kong Island on the right.
docking in Hong Kong. Oh yeah, that's heavy, okay. Oh yeah. You know.